The close range meta is at its healthiest in Warzone's history. There are so many SMGs that are competitive to use on Rebirth and Caldera, it was hard to narrow down the list to just 10. Having it be difficult to pick out the last few for the top 10 SMGs in Warzone made me really happy because it means that the weapons are relatively balanced. Make sure to stick around for the whole video for all the best class setups. Welcome back, I'm Austin, and without waiting any longer, the 10th best SMG is the Owen Gun. This used to be the best when it was overpowered, but then they kept nerfing it and nerfing it, but it still goes to show you how good it was before, it's still top 10. You have great range and great damage for mag. It is similar to what the Bullfrog used to be on Verdansk. Good, but not great time to kill with strong suits and ease of use and damage output. I find it really easy to aim and it still has one of the better in time to kills. So if we go to the class setup real quick, you're probably going to notice one thing on this close range build that I've switched and it is going to be from the Rapid Barrel to the Shrouded. And here's what I'm going to tell you. The Rapid Barrel actually kills slower than the Gowan Shrouded. With the Rapid Barrel, they had to nerf it a bunch. It's still going to make it a little bit easier to use up close because your fire rate's going to be super fast in comparison to the shrouded barrel. This one gives you much better range. You don't have your third damage range fall off. So now instead of only being able to use this weapon out to about 16, 17 meters, you can use it out to as far as you can aim it well. Because the rest of these attachments are kind of geared towards either movement speed or making it more accurate. And then the Gorinko 72 round mag is also going to be for recoil and accuracy while increasing our fire rate to make it a little bit more forgiving if you miss a shot here and there. And then the optic is really up to you. You could use the night our model the slate reflector or you could go with one of the flip optics with a slate so you can push the gun out of your way the ninth best smg is going to be the ppsh from vanguard this is one i don't see being used nearly as much as it should be so what does it do well it's sort of like the modern warfare mp5 from way way back in the day this is the best hip fire sub that you can ask for it not only has a really fast fire rate we have a huge magazine of 71 rounds then on top of that we have one of the better in time to kills at 650 milliseconds while also being super mobile. This gun is just extremely easy to use. I do find it to be better for mouse and keyboard players. I'm on controller, so I find the hip fire to be a little bit less advantageous for us. You don't get as much aim assist when you're hip firing. This thing is very underutilized, and I suggest you give it a try. So for the class setup, what we're going to be doing is rocking the recoil boost. We're going to be doing that for every single one of our Vanguard SMGs because it just increases your time to kill by 5%. Then how do we get this hip fire to be really good? The first thing we're going to go with this, the 230 millimeter barrel, because as you can see, hip fire accuracy and hip fire recoil recovery plus we get some more fire rate and then we got the carver four grip for hip fire fabric grip for hip fire everything is sort of geared towards that then we got tight grip so our sustained fire becomes just an absolute beam then for the magazine this is where you can really change it up if you want you can go with the nambu or the garenko personally i like the garenko because what it does is it gives us much more damage for mag you're going to really enjoy using this weapon if you're on mouse and keyboard the eighth best smg is going to be the milano i know people thought it just got nerfed and it did is a sniper support i'm going to tell you what they did the close range time to kill is 726 milliseconds that is same and unchanged the long range ttk is going to be about 920 milliseconds which is the same and hasn't changed so what they did was they added a middle range they first off made the initial damage range go from 18 to 12 meters does hurt it as a sniper support but this does not affect its build for a long range weapon and in that middle range it's going to be 12 to 33 meters so we actually get a better time to kill from 18 to 33 meters and only in that little six meter range does it hurt our ttk so the weapon is actually gone better if you're using it as a long range build and when you're chasing someone you don't have to do these weapon swaps and that's very beneficial you're going to have much better aim down sight speed and much better strafing and movement when you're in those engagements so it's going to help you hit more shots and make it harder for them to hit you but let's get to the class setup we're going to do a typical long range build for a cold war weapon where we go with the agency suppressor our recoil control and our bullet velocity and damage range and then on top of that we're going to use the 10.5 ranger because this is going to be the best for our bullet velocity and then from there we got the extra arms three times 55 round mag and field agent grip this thing is super easy to use and i suggest everyone to give this a try can we get this video to 50 likes if it's been helpful so far and you're learning about more subs that are really good in warzone and then make sure to subscribe if you want to see more top 10 videos or tier lists or where we compare two weapons directly together and you can stay on top of the warzone meta and hopping right back into it number seven the mp7 just feels right to put it there our first modern warfare weapon on the list and it feels great to still have an mw weapon that is competitive in warzone this mp7 has about the same time to kill as the Owen gun, but I have it higher on the list because it is the easiest to use sub on this list. I have no problems aiming it out to 50 meters with its super clean iron sights. I can't say that for any other SMG in the game. On top of that, it has a great fire rate of 952 rounds per minute, making it very forgiving to use on top of its low recoil. It has a slightly above average time to kill. This is one of the best SMGs in the game that no one is using. Give the MW gun some love and give this class setup a try. I'm going to actually give you two of them. The first one is going to be 
be the one that you can aim out to as far as you want. We're going to actually have over 1100 meters per second on its bullet velocity because of the monolithic suppressor and FSS recon. These both help its damage range. Then we got the 60 round mag, but it does hurt our movement a bit, which is why we go with the no stock for ADS speed and movement speed. It sort of counteracts using the 60 round. And then we have stippled grip tape for aim down sight speed and sprint to fire. The MP7 actually has very elite aim down sight speed, even in comparison to Vanguard or Cold War weapons. And this next class setup is actually going to come from one of my subs, MVP Playmaker. I tried it out and it's really good as well, more geared towards super close range fights. And what we're going to change up is take off the barrel. We're going to switch up no stock to the ultralight barrel, put on the 50 round mag, and then we're going to put on sleight of hand. So sleight of hand is going to counteract using the 50 round mag instead of the 60 round mag. So our damage for mag isn't a problem because we're going to reload in 0.8 seconds. It is so fast. And then on top of that, the 50 round mag actually gives us 3% better movement speed than the 60 round mag, which is why we could switch off the no stock and go to the ultralight barrel, which is going to make its aim walking movement speed go up, which is already a very strong suit of the MP7. Number six is the well gun. This SMG with the correct attachment gets an A plus time to kill of 639 milliseconds. That's going to be the best on the list to this point. That's a great fire rate, great time to kill, and great accuracy. The two things that are going to hold it back from being higher on the list though are going to be its range and damage for mag. This gun is excellent for duos and still pretty good for trios, but with only 40 bullets on the magazine on the best time to kill and ease of use setup, it does hold it back in quads. The range is only 8 meters, but the plus side is that it still has a decent TTK with its second range and can compete with assault rifles at 20 and 30 meters. I think the well gun is specialized to be amazing on rebirth and the setup is going to be the recoil booster and then we got to use the short barrel because this increases our fire rate. Even though it lowers our damage, it does increase our time to kill by quite a bit. And then we throw on the 40 round mag. Then the rest of these you can kind of gear towards whatever you want. So the hand stop is what's going to help us out at our ranged fights. And then the fabric grip to help us up close along with remove stock, acrobatic, and quick. Those are all going to make it very mobile. Then we got the slate reflector to help with some accuracy, subsonic to stay off the mini map. Number five, the Sten. This weapon is not used at all and I do not know why. First off, let me tell you what the time to kill is when you set this thing up correctly. 620 milliseconds. Yes, the welcome was just the best before it's 639. Well, this one is 19 milliseconds better. This thing absolutely fries. You're going to feel like you're moving on clouds because you're so light. This weapon is the fastest mobility SMG in the game. I just don't know why no one uses this in solos, especially and duos. What holds it back is the magazine size because on the best time to kill class setup, you only have 36 rounds and that's going to be your second biggest magazine. You have a 50 round mag, but it's really going to hurt your time to kill and movement. It also has an amazing fire rate of over 900 rounds per minute. So it's very forgiving if you miss a shot here and there. You can't use it in trios and you can't use it in quads. But duos and below, this rivals being the best SMG in the game. Feels amazing to use, not only because it drops people so fast, you're moving so fast, and I don't find the recoil to be that bad. I love this SMG. Now for the setup, what do we do to make the time to kill the best? First, we go with the recoil booster, then we go with the rapid barrel, and then we go with the 36 Garinko ammo. But then we're going to help it out up close with these three attachments on the right, the stock, the perk, and the perk 2. We got quick, acrobatic, and the guan para. This is kind of where a lot of people will change up their setup is on the stock, but for me, I really want to accentuate that movement on the gun. So we increase the movement speed and the sprint to fire. You do see that it hurts your initial firing recoil, but I have on the stippled grip to counteract that, so we have no problems with it. Then we have subsonic, and then hand soft top with the recoil. If you are ever playing duos or solos, please just give this weapon a go. Number four, the Type 100, a weapon I view very similar to the Sten, one that isn't used much, but has a busted time to kill at an absurd 612 milliseconds, but they come with stark differences. The Sten's advantage is going to be its mobility. It has it over every other SMG in the game as well, but you get the point. The Type 100 comes with the advantage of damage for mag, making it viable to use in any size mode, including quads, which is why I put it above the Sten. One thing I do want to make very clear on the Type 100 is that there are actually two builds, and I just recently found out that the 36 round mag gives you a time to kill of 544 milliseconds, making it kill absurdly faster than any of these other SMGs. But it's even harder to aim than the 48 round one, and you have to at least be decent at the game to use this thing effectively. But if you are, give this thing a shot, and the only change we'd really make is switching the 48 round mag to the 36 round one, which I would use this in probably duos and below like the Sin, and then if I want to use it in a bigger mode, I'd use the 48 round mag. So what are we trying to do to get the TTK up? We use the rapid barrel and we use the recoil booster with the magazine. Then I have on the hand 
and stop to help with the recoil control, as well as the groove grip to help with the horizontal recoil, because that gets kicked up quite a bit. This is going to make it a lot easier to use. We got some movement for quick and fleet, and then the Shirashi T100. I like to use this for the horizontal recoil control and aim down side speed, but another two sets of stocks that people really like to use are the skeletal and the folding. But for this one, I don't like that it hurts our initial recoil. Then on this other one, I don't like to use it because it hurts our sprint to fire speed, which is why I like to use this thing to help out my ADS speed and my horizontal recoil. This is going to make it easier to use. The mobility will be a little bit slower on it, but I think it's worth it considering how fast this thing eliminates players. The third best SMG is going to be the Armaguer. This is one of the unlocks from a couple seasons ago. Actually, I think it was last season, and it is actually really, really easy to use with really good damage for mag. The time to kill is going to be 671 milliseconds, so that's going to be better than some of the subs on the list in between the A plus TTKs and then the B plus time to kills. So I'd give this thing an A minus on time to kill. Get really good mobility on it, not quite as good as a Sten or another SMG that's about to come up on the list. Really, really easy to use with a good damage for mag. I would kind of categorize this as an Owen gun, but better. One, because you can use the iron sights, they're really clean, the gun isn't in your face, it kills slightly faster, the damage for mag is about the same, and you get better mobility. Usually when I switch up my class, I have to adjust to the weapon, but this one was just so nice that I immediately was frying with it. I'm gonna go to class setup real quick. We're gonna use the recoil booster and the 60 round mag that's how we get the time to kill up the barrel here isn't going to actually affect the ttk the precision barrel would lower it which is why we definitely don't want to use that less damage fall off at long range so this makes the ttk better at the secondary ranges and then from there i'm going to use this optic that is actually an iron sight and what it does is it actually increases our aim down sight speed which is super nice up close i got the hard scope perk and quick and then the folding is also going to be our movement one and then we got the under barrel and rear grip to help with our accuracy the second best smg in the game is going to be the h4 blix I know a lot of you guys may not have this unlocked, but you need to do it right now. If you don't have multiplayer, that will be a pain. I do understand that, but it is so disgustingly overpowered right now. The only reason it isn't number one is because you're probably going to be seeing in the gameplay right now. There is a glitch when you swap the weapon or throw a lethal or tactical or put on a plate. You can't do anything with the gun for a second. You can't sprint with it. You can't aim it down. You can't shoot it. It's a weird glitch that I'm sure they're going to fix soon. And you might be thinking, this SMG feels like trash when I pick it up off the ground. But that's because they put on the burst barrel, which makes the time to kill atrocious. When it's actually in its fully automatic form, depending on the magazine you use, you can get anywhere from a 500 millisecond time to kill, or you can have a 600 millisecond TTK, which would then be the second fastest killing behind only the Type 100. Even with that problem of not being able to use the gun for one second after you basically do anything, I was still killing everyone because this thing just eliminates people so quickly. It is really easy to aim, it has good damage for mag, has an amazing time to kill, and has above average mobility. The only con to it is really going to be its fire rate once they fix that glitch. The fire rate's only going to be 600 on the best class setup, so it's going to be one of those weapons that isn't very forgiving when you miss a bullet. But let me just go into the class setup really quickly. The recoil booster is what gets our fire rate up to 600 rounds per minute, because the Garenko ammo does not actually increase our fire rate because that's the base ammo in this weapon. So the 36 round is going to be the one that kills in 500 milliseconds because it increases our torso damage where the stomach and chest shot damage is going to be 50 a shot which is just ridiculous now if you're going to see on the 54 round mag this one actually increases your headshot damage instead of your torso damage so it's a little bit higher skill but we get much better damage for mag making it super viable in quads but if we get one headshot with this thing which does 75 damage a headshot that's going to make your time to kill go to 500 milliseconds just like the 36 round one then the rest of it i'm really gearing towards making it super accurate because of the fire rate being so slow i don't want to miss any bullets because each missed shot adds a hundred milliseconds to our time to kill that makes it really unforgiving that's why i got the hand stop on the polymer grip and the slate reflector then i got fleet and quick just because we don't want to be moving around like we're a slug i felt like i could use this weapon out to 40 meters even and it still felt like it was killing really quickly just give it a shot the best smg is the mp40 why do i have it over the blixen it's going to be because this is easier to use and i have to think about the average player base in warzone what smg will they perform the best with it's going to be the mp40 it's going to have a 616 millisecond time to kill if you set it up correctly i see so many people running around on caldera or rebirth using the incorrect attachments and i'm like why are you using this way it isn't even good if you don't have on the three correct attachments to get the good time to kill so the 660 millisecond time to kill is going to only be behind the type 100 in the blixen and then the stins right there with it but what makes this better every other submachine gun on this list that isn't the stin or the mp40 is going to feel slow in comparison because you're just zooming around with this thing. You not only have a good tack sprint, you have really good ADS strafe, you have really good sprint to fire, and you have good aim down sight speed. With the build I have, it's pretty easy to aim. Even though it has a 
a short range of only 8 meters, the secondary range is actually very competitive with other SMGs still, as well as going to kill faster than ARs. And then on top of that, I don't know what it is about the MP40, but it probably just feels the best out of any SMG. There's nothing wrong with the MP40. Everything about it is great, as long as you put on the correct attachments, and I'm going to give them to you right now so you're not one of those dumb people running around Warzone with an MP40 that doesn't even kill quickly. So the three things you have to run, recoil booster, the short barrel, and the 45 round mag. I can't tell you how many times I've come back from the gulag and I'm going to pick up someone else's loot that I kill with a Tommy gun from the gulag which sucks and I see them rocking a 40 round mag and then they're rocking a mercury silencer and I'm just thinking what are these people thinking? A short barrel, damage range, bullet velocity, but it not only increases limb damage, it actually increases your chest and stomach shot damage, where your best time to kill is actually gonna come from just hitting chest and stomach shots, making this thing easier to use than any other SMG. How do we make this thing accurate? We use the slate reflector, the 45 round mag also makes the gun more accurate, and then we have on brace for initial firing recoil, making it really easy to hit your shots. I'm gonna use the Mark V skeletal because that gets our ADS speed up and I don't need the hand stop for extra recoil control. And then I have on quick and I have on the folding stock. All these things helping our aimed on sight speeds, front to fire or movement speed. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and if you want to see what the top 10 ARs and wars are to pair with this weapon, click on this video right here. Also make sure to read the pinned comment on that top 10 video.